Take it across to him, Ajay. Uh, the company wants to be debt-free by 2020. They're looking to monetize this Santa Cruz property as well. Big development. You know, the big development actually is uh, that they have com come to an agreement with the 16 lenders. All the indebted companies want to be debt-free in future. But if wishes were horses, uh, so how much asset sale are they able to conclude is the big question mark. Because there is much more asset on the block to be sold then there are buyers on the uh, you know on the horizon the big point coming to is the agreement they have come to with the 16 lenders uh, because this is it appears quite similar to the agreement uh, even z had come about with the uh, you know lenders over there this is a second kind of a similar agreement asking for more time that in the 180 day period they will be able to uh, conduct asset sales and hence furnish the requirements so this is something to watch out for we reached out to the management on what gives them confidence that they've come to this agreement? Are there any uh, transactions which are going into a final stage? Like Z has been maintaining that their transaction is in a final stage. But does uh, ADAG Group also have any uh, uh, you know, transactions at that stage? This is not known yet. The stock may be reacting, but I'm, uh, you know, still, I have my uh, fingers crossed whether they'll reval get revalued or not because conducting the transaction is something to watch out for. Uh, they have given a list of stuff which they are doing, but doesn't, I don't find anything extremely concrete which uh, gives faith in the stock price. So it will be interesting to get a market opinion on this transaction. We are being joined by Sanjay Basin. In fact, you've raised a very valid point about them being able to get all the 16 lenders on board to give them some extra time. So let's get in Sanjay Basin's perspective as well and then you can take it across to him for more uh, follow-up that you may have. Mr. Basin, uh, give us your reaction. They've uh, managed to get 16 lenders to sign the ICA. They are at least at this point of time, sounding quite confident about being able to monetize their assets and reduce the debt. Well, I think that's the second good news. First, you had it, heard it from the DFL promoters and the lenders, and I think this is what we are. This is what we are missing the woods for the trees. The budget has given a very strong stimulus to solve these uh, debt and uh, you know problematic NBFC stroke uh, companies where the, the debt is uh, overhang. And they are giving them six to nine months to monetize the assets. In the case of DHFL, you are going to give them working capital to get through this period and get back on the feet. And in Reliance I Infra, again, they have monetizable assets. It's just that the flow of cash because of the ILFS and other issues has been a pain in the you know performance. So I think this is a very welcome step because both these, the lenders and the company, will get some reprieve. Also, it should improve the credit rating of a lot of the blenders because we've written, uh, they've done a lot of provisioning. And if the next six months can see right back, then I, saw, I see no reason why these stocks cannot start to outperform. We are already seeing, Sanjeev, some of those stocks move up very, uh, very sharply. But do you think they would, depending on the kind of details of the agreement on the deals which are struck, do you think these moves will at best be trading moves? And it may be still early to consider some of these category stocks uh, investment grade yet? Well, that will always be a, a point to ponder, uh, uh, Ashu, uh, you know, Ajay, because they've fallen 90% from their high. But even if they double, they will be very, very cheap. So the idea is that there are value assets. These are not uh, just uh, junk assets which they have. I mean, the, 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 the real estate, the towers, the other businesses, they are, they are selling their insurance, they are selling... Uh, some of the other uh, very, very viable assets. So I see no letter, I see no problem in that. It's just that the temporary uh, democratic sword which was hanging on their head is now over, and they will have a reprieve to get back into business and try and monetize the other assets. It also tells you that almost six, five, six lakh crore worth of inventory overall in real estate, in other assets is blocked, which will start to see the light of the day. And I am very bullish that given the strength of the rupee and bonds, I think foreign money or private equity will definitely be looking to buy these assets, which will now be available at, you know, a discount to their market value. Okay, Mr. Basin, thank you so much for uh, taking time out and uh, sharing with us your first cut reactions. Uh, meantime, the stock uh, is, uh, you know, in a complete, uh, uh, you know, up move and looking uh, very, very upbeat right now. Perhaps, uh, you know, given that how uh, the company has uh, been able to convince all 16 of its lenders to come on more on back of that uh, now that they have extra time as well to uh, be able to repay the debt and to be able to monetize their assets effectively.